a vampire, you become very sexy. So, we just watched What We Do in the Shadows. It's not our first time watching it. We actually watched it before. We've watched it a couple of times, because it's a great movie. (laughs) It's It's great to watch. Yeah, we we watched it a couple of times. I think this is my third time. And it just, it skips better every time you watch it. It does. You just start to notice more things that people are saying. You start Mm -hmm. to notice how clever some of the things that they're doing actually Mm -hmm. are. You pick up on little subtler jokes that were set up with a payoff in the end. Yeah. Like bits that you know are coming. You have time to like, to like listen to what comes afterward. Like when you're not laughing for the first mm -hmm. time. Like the, the moment in the Unholy Masquerade when he's struggling with his mask and he takes it off, and he's like, all right, take that. And he looks at the camera, and then he goes, boom. And it zooms in on him. Like, it, it pulls a Leonardo DiCaprio mm-hmm. in. Mm-hmm. And Django Unchained. Unchained. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Not quite as dramatic as <laughs> that Leonardo DiCaprio one, but close. still rather mm-hmm. great. Yeah, but what, what this movie does really well, if once you watch it, you'll notice this immediately. It's a faux documentary. And a lot of movies try this. I watched a movie recently called Super. And it tried that. It tried a faux documentary, but they shot it as if it were a movie. So they never recognized the camera as its own thing. Hmm. So it doesn't work at all. It kind of That's fails. It's, it's like they're almost a documentary, but, but not it's really. not. Yeah. I just saw you. So it kind of fails for me. But this movie treats it like a documentary. Yes, that's right. what's great. There are shots where you see the boom night, the boom yeah, night yeah. walking <laughs> in. With the pan up and the boom's like, ah, crap. Or and, poor Peter. And the actors are like acting like mm-hmm. they They're, haven't acted yeah. before. They like, feel natural. You know? Yeah, because they, like they feel naturally they feel like awkward. Going, yeah, because yeah, you get the characters like then they're acting like they haven't been on camera, they haven't been in a movie mm-hmm. before, because he's like looking at the camera, he's like, okay, like, I'm gonna go over here now, and, uh, and like, do this, and he's just, yeah, like his little, <laughs> weird little smile. And I think it works just better as a documentary, because... It's perfect. If, if you, yeah, if you think yeah. about it, if it were a movie, that story, the story they tell, is completely pointless. Mm-hmm. Like, nothing happens it's in It's not movie. drawing attention to anything. But since but since it's treated as a documentary, it works. Because yeah. documentaries do that a lot. They just kind of, like, focus on a subject and kind of expand on a subject yeah, instead just, of a story. Just detailing the, yeah, the not, average Yeah, they detail, like, the vampires. Of the vampires. You it's know, not exactly. trying to make a point with what it's saying. Mm-hmm. It's just yeah. saying... Here you go. Yeah. A lot of documentaries do make points, but they don't have to. Yeah, and I appreciate that they did that with this movie. I appreciate that. But I mean, it's not it's not the best looking movie. No. You know, some of the visual effects aren't great, but you know, it's campy. And I feel fun. like that was kind of the point. Exactly. It's like it was supposed to just be like, like they're on not screens. just mind blowing, but yeah, it yeah. Looks like they're on screens <laughs> when they're flying, <laughs> and they just look like they're about to pass out midair. Get back from hot. Okay, I'm punching high. Yep. High. Yep. Use your legs. Wow. And all the characters are uh, different in their own way. They're all unique. They all yeah, have their own characters. I wouldn't call them like fleshed out, but they are all their own person. Well, yeah, but in documentaries, the thing is, is you don't really need to flesh no. out characters no. it, because, because you're yeah. not they're not characters mm-hmm. they're just people mm-hmm. and that like you said that's what makes this so great it's mm-hmm. like is it, they it sh- feels very natural despite the fact that it is a fake documentary about, about mythical vampires. creatures yeah. yeah yeah it's treated as a real documentary mm-hmm. and how it it would actually be about a subject that's yeah, like, not real. Yeah, about a mythical <laughs> so, creature. Which makes it fantastic yeah, in my that's eyes. that's what's great. And, that, and, it, and it plays on all of the vampires' abilities that they have. It spoofs them, the whole movie. It spoofs yeah. everything they can do. Like, like the teacup in the mirror and their... <laughs> how they can't dress up to go out on the town because they, they can't, can't look, look in the mirror, mirror because they can't <laughs> they see draw they pictures. Like the they draw, <laughs> they draw pictures, pictures of each other. Of each other. Or, or how they... Um, can't go into clubs without being being well, invited. Inside. So they're like, invite us in! And it's like, dude, what are you talking about? The fact that the actors can act like they don't know how to act <laughs> yeah. is, it just blows my mind. It, it's it's like, surprising. It really is. <laughs> especially the main guy. I can't even remember his name. Just Viago? Viago? Yeah. 
Yeah, or, just the kind of goofy, yeah. the goofy main guy. How he like yeah, acts like, like he like keeps looking at the camera and, yeah, and like he narrates what he's gonna do. Yeah. And he he is really good at acting like he has yeah. never been. It's kind of crazy. In a movie that before he, it freaks me he out. He starred in this and directed it, and now because <laughs> of this, he's getting movies like Thor three. It's crazy. He's directing Thor three. He's directing Thor three. That's insane. Ragnarok. Awesome. Yeah, That's it's kind of crazy. Hopefully that's a good one. Yeah, I hope it he's, is. Because he's, he, he's shown that he has talent. Yeah. Because what I noticed with this movie especially is that he does very well with practical effects. You know, the blood splurts when he's fighting into a victim and it's spraying out. <laughs> it's the main artery. Yeah, and he's like, Shit! Or, or um, the moment when they're fighting in the hallway and it's doing the inception <laughs> turning hallway bit. <laughs> Stand on the ceiling and fight me like a man. <laughs> Which is fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's very well done. And that was something, when I watched this the first time, that was something I didn't expect to see, is that it's it does everything <laughs> very well. It's crazy. Yeah, it, like it doesn't said, skip on things. And it's very interesting in the sense that as it is set up as a spoof or as a mockumentary as it's called, mm-hmm. like spoof movies have a tendency to just be awful. Oh yeah. yeah. Like, like, scary movie. All the way around. Disaster the scary movie, movie, disaster movie. The train wreck movies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, train wreck. But it's like um, Yeah, it's not really it's not a spoof movie. Mm-hmm. It's like that's the good thing about it. It's not trying to be a spoof movie. It's mm-hmm. And it's not trying... It's just it's taking, weird. You know, it's just like, taking the myth of vampires... And putting a fun yeah. spin on it. Yeah, and it's, it's not like... As if it was real life. Yeah, yeah. it's not trying That's to make fun. fun of it is a good thing. No. Is It's trying to show, like... How it's it a, it's a documentary, and they're, like, trying to make a real documentary about something that's fake. And that's mm-hmm. what makes it that's hilarious. That's what makes it really funny. <laughs> and it is one of the f- more funny movies I've seen in some time. I think it yeah, came I out know. two it's, years ago. It's one of the funniest movies I've seen. And it's I've still one seen. of the funniest movies I've seen in a while. Well, yeah, there there's just nothing that can actually substitute truly funny material Mm -hmm. there are a lot of things that can try to Mm -hmm. by by playing off of tropes Mm -hmm. by playing off of a lot of terrible things that just don't work out Mm -hmm. because it is generally lazily done it's obvious that they put thought into everything that they were doing it's very well written and i appreciate that how well written it is that a lot of jokes are set up early on and paid off later there's a lot of the slapstick humor yeah Mm -hmm. there's a lot of the playing on the tropes of vampires, like floating and vacuuming the ceiling type of thing. So yeah. it's, it has a lot of different kinds of jokes, so it can appeal to anybody. It's a great movie, and I would, in the end, um, like you said, there's not a whole lot that you can focus on specifically, other than that it's a docu- fake documentary. It's very effective in what it wants to do. It's very over-the-top and hilarious. And it's very well made. So in the end, I would definitely recommend seeing it if you haven't. Yeah. It's kind of a hidden gem. Like, yeah, because yeah, really it's kind of like it's not really big. I haven't heard yeah. anybody talk no, about yeah. it. Every time I bring anymore. it up, I t- like, oh, you, you like horror movies, right? You should watch this. And I'm like, Who, what the heck's that? And like, yeah. Nobody's heard about this movie. Yeah. And, but, and even despite the fact that like most of the movie is like like hand camera, mm-hmm. like camcorder, like, it's you know, just like documentaries or stuff, mm-hmm. like it's not terrible and there's actually it's not good moments and like cool like i'm trying to think of a specific mm. scene that i enjoyed but just like <laughs> just well, like how the film crew is just in the back scene. yeah, yeah like, but it's they, like there's like, like some even cool scenes and mm-hmm. interesting scenes that they did with just the hand camera and yeah. just the practical effects that uh-huh. they used and it's not it doesn't make you want to freaking die because <laughs> it, it's not like a found not footage like, movie yeah, it's, and it's not, not garbage cam. it's yeah. You know, it's smooth hand cam mm-hmm. that's actually good mm-hmm. and not distracting mm-hmm. or annoying or stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what's great. Yeah, it's it's not distracting. So, yeah, I would recommend it. If you haven't seen yeah, it, definitely too. see it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the only issue I have with the film is that there is a bit... It's I'd say the second act of the movie mm-hmm. gets a bit stale for me. Like, there's... It, there's the first act of the movie is hysterical, and it's because you're uh, seeing how their lives function. And mm-hmm. then when they make Nick a vampire, which mm-hmm. comes pretty quickly, um, then it's kind of it's stale. There's not a lot of jokes, and you and it's in those that bit where you start to notice things that you don't like so much because not yeah. much is going on. They, they walk around town with Nick and mm-hmm. say that he's not a good guy, all this kind of thing. So that is my only complaint. Like the first and the third act is pretty genius the <laughs> yeah, second yeah. act is really this where it starts to fall apart but then the third act brings it all back together and it's great movie yeah and i think 
I'm sorry. Go so ahead. I was going to say, I feel like the purpose like, was to show like mm-hmm. what happens when you first become a vampire, mm-hmm. like when a new vampire, because he's still like all excited. Like, yeah, he's yeah. like, oh, dude, I'm going to tell everybody I'm a vampire. Mm-hmm. He's like, so he's like, yeah, I'm kind of a big deal, and you can't kill me because I'm immortal now. Mm-hmm. But then he's like, discovering the things he doesn't like, like he can't eat chips. Yeah, he can't eat his <laughs> favorite eat food. And <laughs> throat. Yeah. So it has some entertaining Just parts. Kyle's blood <laughs> mm-hmm. from his gullet. Just like a fire hose for like five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I think. Yeah. yeah, that's my only complaint. There, there's mm-hmm. some good bits in that moment in that scene, and it's mainly at the start when he first becomes a vampire. Yeah. And then as it goes along, then you're like, okay, let's let's move on, but. I think I would give it an 8. A solid yeah. 8 out of 10. I think That's, that I can totally I was. I had that in my head already. Mm-hmm. I was thinking I get 8. But yeah, so uh, that's. I think that's all we can really say about it. Yeah. It's a great movie. <laughs> I would definitely recommend it. And, yeah. and you guys, I, I think yeah, I one hundred percent recommend it. Yeah. It's it's worth it just to see Jemaine Clemens dress the way that he dresses, and to right. talk about his torture chamber. <laughs> Go yeah. friggin' see it. Watch it. And we will. Um, See you in the next episode, I guess. What we do in the shadows. Bye-bye.